A possible change to the U.S. Constitution now lies in the hands of Virginia lawmakers. At issue, the Equal Rights Amendment. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee joins us with why this vote is so important. Well, guys, the amendment needs 38 states to ratify it, and it's possible that Virginia could be that magic 38 number, which is why it's garnering national attention. Renewed push to make Virginia the key 38th state. If added to the U.S. Constitution, the Equal Rights Amendment would guarantee equal rights for all American citizens, regardless of sex. Really, it's more than a political issue. We really feel like it's a moral issue. Opponents of the amendment say it will give too much power to Congress and result in unintended consequences like taxpayer funded abortions. All matters relating to sex. Well, that means family law. That means um, abortion law. That means um, privacy issues when we talk about whether women can be in locker rooms and shower rooms uh, without men. All of those issues are then given over to Congress. But even if Virginia becomes the key 38th state, it doesn't necessarily mean the Equal Rights Amendment will immediately be added to the Constitution. You see, Congress initially approved the amendment in 1972. They gave a 10-year deadline for 38 states to ratify it. Here we are more than three decades later. Principal argument is that deadline, that time frame that, that the Congress put into it initially. Um, there's going to either have to be a court case that, uh, that rules that deadline or timeline unconstitutional, or Congress is going to have to act to extend the deadline. It's possible a court case and a ruling from Congress could happen simultaneously. The amendment passed the Senate committee last night and will head to the Senate floor. Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.